This is the Matolo potato sorting plant, and it's the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. It handles 40% of all of Australia's fresh potatoes. That's 937 million potatoes a year, or thereabouts. What once took an army of workers is now sorted by about 65 people. So what exactly is happening here, Darren? This is enormous. We uh, grade out any rock, goes through the washing system where it polishes the potato, cleans it up, removes all the dirt. It then travels through hydrocoolers, and those hydrocoolers were basically cooling down the core temperature of the potato. If the core temperature of the potato remains too high, between 20 and 25 degrees, it just drops the shelf foliage. life. Yeah, it increases foliage. About 200,000 spuds an hour dance their way through the washer, the coolers and rollers. Every bit of machinery calibrated to be as gentle as possible because any damage, however small, will be noticed. And what's, what's this? So this has got cameras in here, and we're taking photos of the potato as it goes through. Yep, they photograph the potatoes, every single one of them. It's quality control in minute detail. So that's... That's all images of one potato. That's one potato there. So it's quite thorough. Yeah, <laughs> very and, thorough. And you can see, you know, you're getting different angles of the same potato and side views as well as top view. And obviously underneath as it's going around. And then they control how many blemishes are on that potato and where it's going. I don't think I've ever examined a potato that closely <laughs> in my life. <laughs> The computer then decides what grade they are and drops them off the travelator onto a packing line. They still get a once over from a human though. So things like that brown line on there, that's okay. I know, that's all right, yeah. Because these are a lower grade. Yep, and so that, that's a bit of rot. Right. Yeah. Do you eat many spuds at home? Yeah. Or are you sick of the yeah. sight of them by the end of the uh, day? No, I still, still have spuds. Yeah, they're a beautiful bit of gear, yeah. nice potatoes. Yeah. This intense selection is said to be based on what we expect. It seems when it comes to fruit and veg, we value looks perhaps more than we should. But in the future, can we afford to be that choosy? So this is a waste line. Wow. So this is quite a high percentage of waste in this load. Here at Matolo, they're actually quite efficient at keeping waste down. But on average, 20% of potatoes grown in Australia don't reach us. It can be down to shape, size, even appearance. We like our potatoes potato-shaped. As a, as a layperson, that's, that's an incredible volume to see of wastage. And I mean, obviously, as an operator, that's a volume that you don't like to see. Yeah, that, that breaks our heart. To see yeah, either, yeah, yeah. exactly. In fact, on average, 25% of all vegetables are discarded at this stage. That means millions of square kilometres of farmland are cultivated to grow food that never reaches us. Not to mention the millions of litres of water used and huge amount of energy that goes into farming. It's a lot to throw away. And so its final destination... A kettle feed. And is that yeah. something that's then processed for the cattle to eat or does it just go out as a, as a raw waste product? Raw waste product is dumped on the ground. We're really efficient at farming our food, but we're still losing a sizeable portion of it in the system. Most of which could be put to use. I find it amazing that one in every five potatoes that are grown ends up as waste. It's perhaps the future of food's not so much about growing more food, but making more of what we grow.